Good morning, everyone. Bill and Carrie with KB Trek. Good morning. Where are we at, hon? What's going on? We are day two of our Vancouver uh, adventure, and we are going to, first we're going to go grab some breakfast, but uh, we are have plans to go see the Vancouver Aquarium and Stanley Park today. How's breakfast? Very good. Yeah, if you want to watch, we did breakfast yesterday on our <laughs> other vlogs, and you can check out that link. Where are we going now, though? We're going to the aquarium. Yeah, we're going to get a ride share for that. Yes. All right, here we are. We got our uh, ride share, and now we're at the Vancouver Aquarium. They have not quite opened yet, or they just opened. So we're going to get in line. Did you buy your ticket, our tickets online? I bought our tickets online. Okay, is there a discount with that? No. Just a guaranteed spot? Just a guaranteed spot, because you do still have to reserve a time to get in. Okay. So we did 10 a.m. Here we go, visiting the Vancouver Aquarium for the very first time. Walking in the doors. Greeted by a couple of tanks off to the sides and a very large globe <laughs> right ahead of us. Right here we have the choice to go to the Pacific Canada or the tropics. We're going to hit the tropics because it's the first tunnel from the door trying to go in a, some sort of a pattern. First tank across from where we come in here uh, is uh, Tropical New Guinea. And there's a type of sea turtle in there. We're going to go into the Amazon gallery uh, next. Instantly it's just warmer in here. Piranhas? Piranhas. Piranha. These are red footed tortoises. Torti? Tortitutis? Oh, yeah, he's got like little red pads on the back of his feet. You can see the red pads on their feet better from the front. These guys are very active. There we go, there's a better view of the iguana. It turns around. This is a green and black poison dork frog. This is a skin, snake skin for an anaconda uh, that the shaman's showing the kids. They can touch it. They can feel what it feels like. Got a little primate in here. Looks like he's grooming themselves. Let's see the little claws on their hand. This thing's supposed to have a rainforest uh, thunder shower. Like it's a three minute thing that happens Looks like at the bottom uh, of every hour throughout the day. I always like these guys. They're called linefish. They kind of got these spikes on them, but uh, they're really cool looking. See, look at that. They're just kind of fanned out there. At the end of this exhibit, there's a large tank with various fish in there. I see a couple of uh, black tipped sh uh, sharks swimming through. So that's back to the main lobby. So this is the entrance to the Pacific Canada uh, exhibit. And when you walk in, uh, got a bunch of jellyfish uh, decorations from the ceiling. Down below is a big tank. We'll get down there eventually, but we're gonna keep on this floor for now. Got a tank at the end, a jellyfish bloom. These uh, jellyfish are pretty big themselves. I'm gonna head into the Treasures of the BC Coast, British Columbia Coast. Look at this one swimming here. It looks like it's swimming on its side. Um, but that's how it is, kind of like how a flounder. Here's another one of those. Uh, you can see it's just kind of laying there on the bottom. Uh, it looks like it's just laying on its side really flat and you can make out that other one very well camouflaged onto the sand floor. Not that one swimming through, the one there. Um, it just blends in so well. Uh, into the sand. These are some pretty uh, nicely sized exhibits. You can see a lot in here. Some cool stuff. A more sea anemones. Uh, Bella Bella uh, Island is where uh, you can find these. Well, these are supposed to be different islands around uh, uh, the, B the BC, British Columbia. This brightly colored uh, display has a lot of sea stars and sea urchins and so it's common in uh, nature that the bright colors uh, are warning to predators that they either taste bad or they could be poisonous. Oh there's actually like a lobster or something kind of hiding back. Right at the end of that this exploration gallery. Looks like there's a 4D uh, thing that you could pay extra for tickets for. I'll go check that in a second. Look at the size of this guy. Dang. I don't know if that's a fish or an eel yet. I gotta check the tank. Oh, this is a show. It's free. 
This is a 3D show. They gave us some glasses. I'm gonna sit on in here. I guess anywhere. Stepping out of the movie and they got like a little play area for kids. So that, the movie was free. Yes. And, it's included uh, in admission. Yep. And it was, it was a 40 movie. Yes. And so what was the movie about and what did we experience? So it was basically about a reef that was, I mean, I guess you could say dying. The fish at all, they fished it overfished. And so it was about bringing uh, all the fish and everything back to life at the reef. Protecting the reef. And it had like air blowing on us and yeah, some water, water bubbles. Our, our seats vibrated a little bit. Okay. Oh, yep. that's what that was. Yeah. I thought that was just from sitting next to you. No. Anyway. I'm gonna check out this kid area real quick. It looks like they got like a tunnel you can go through and you can see uh, some uh, animals uh, up close. And I jumped in line for some interactive tour. Uh, they have them a couple times throughout the day. Got to learn about uh, all the animals that are in these uh, p uh, little touch pond things. Looks like they got some uh, jellyfish in the first tank. We want to make sure that we also don't go around poking them or swishing them around because jellyfish are really delicate and if you poke a jellyfish you're going straight through it. Now we're going to do some sea stars and some sea urchin. Here's a bigger one. Poke that, touch that one. Poke. <laughs> That's the right word, Bill. Yeah, very spiny and I could tell that I uh, touched it because its spikes are moving. I'm going to touch some uh, starfish or sea stars. No, this one's kind of close. I'm gonna just touch the arm. Ooh, kind of a rough, uh, rough skin. How was that? The touch line was really cool. I mean, again, I'm just kind of stoked that I actually got to touch a jellyfish and not be worried about being stung. So yeah. now I can say I've touched a jellyfish. Head downstairs. This aquarium looks pretty big. Saw a big sturgeon go through. Oh, that's cool. Uh, this one looks like it's swimming on its side. Uh, some big ones in here, some big fish. Wow, they have a... <laughs> wow, they have a pretty big octopus in here. Down here, this looks like it's called Frogs Forever. Oh, they got uh, some uh, lockers down here that you can use. A couple more poisonous frogs uh, in here, uh, including this uh, golden looking one. Really cute. But uh, yeah, don't eat these. They'd be bad for you. Yeah, a lot of frogs and uh, amphibians. These guys are cute little red guys. White stripes. Okay, so are they white with red stripes? We went down a ramp to a viewing area. Oh, there goes a harbor seal. Cool. <laughs> oh, he's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. right, we're back outside, up above. It looks like uh, they got some trainers doing some things with uh, the seals. Like they're feeding them and checking them. There we go. Do some more checks. Oh, so cute. <laughs> That's a sea lion making uh, that noise, that call. Okay, so you can see the difference here when he gets up here. You can see the sea lion, he's going to be able to walk up on the <laughs> land. <laughs> Someone's got some attitude. Next to the auditorium is a quick service uh, type thing. I'm trying to see the menu, but the screens aren't bright enough for the sun. Oh, here's the sea otters. Oh, adorable. Yeah, I see you. This is an underwater viewing area, the seal exhibit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was cool. We're gonna make our way back to the uh, main lobby. There's some stairs in front of us. I don't think we can go down there right now. It looks like it's closed off. Next to the entrance and uh, farther to the left is the Courtyard Cafe. We're just gonna see what they kind of offer here. We stopped at the Ocean View Cafe to get some lunch and uh, I got the uh, fish tacos or the cod tacos. Uh, these were $18. 
And Carrie got the... I got the chicken, apple, and brie panini. Okay. And it came with fries, but you could upgrade to uh, poutine. And we have yet to have poutine while we're here, yeah. so. So poutine is, a, it's a delicacy. Yeah. And the Canadia. Yes. Fr French, French fries. fries topped with gravy and cheese curds. Mm, cheese curds. Yeah, so the uh, cod tacos were $18. And the uh, chicken, apple, brie, uh, panini was 19 and the um, upgrade for the poutine was three dollars. So all this was the 33.60 after tax, and uh, we got some sort of discount. So the cod tacos, um, kind of an interesting thing. They're more like um, uh, little um, bits. It's not like a uh, fillet for the taco, and it has like a pickled relish on it. Um, three and a half, I think, for these. Uh, they're okay. Uh, not fantastic, I say. What do you think about for your sandwich, hon? Uh, it's good. I mean, it's standard for a quick service at an aquarium. I'd probably give it, I, I would probably say about a three and a half, too, with it, but I enjoy the taste of it. Okay, what do we think of this poutine? Oh, the poutine is good. Fries good, gravy good, cheese curds good. Yeah. I, I would give this, I would give this a four and a half out of five. Okay, yeah, I would what? say four. I, we don't have a lot of, we haven't had a lot of poutines. So no. Not that much of uh, compared to, but I'm enjoying it. We're supposed to go to Costco apparently here to get it. <laughs> well, why is that? I don't know. I've just even been hearing people saying that you have to go to Costco to get poutine here in Canada. Okay. And for all the Canadians watching this, please tell us. Yeah, is it worth it? I mean, we saw a photo. It did look pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I never thought about going to Costco for poutine. But right. Sure. But maybe maybe Costco poutine is like the hot dog and soda to us at home. Yeah. They're going to exit through the gift shop, gift shop. Exit through the gift shop. Gift shop time. Dump shop. Shopping. Automatic doors. Ooh, that's new. We're living in the next century here. Oh, these I otters are so adorable. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? I'm buying an axolotl and an otter. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's it's not. Look how cute it oh. You ought to know we can't afford all that. Well, we can afford it. We just can't put it in our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make our way out of the Vancouver Aquarium. What did you think, hon? Oh, so much fun. I, well, of course, I love aquariums. It doesn't take a lot to get me excited about uh, animals. So. <laughs> you excited about animals? No. Never. 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 Uh, we actually spent about three and a half hours here. So yeah. if you want to check out the more detailed vlog, we'll have a link above when that's ready. Uh, but we are going to make our way uh, through Stanley Park here, see what else is uh, uh, around at least within walking distance because yes. we don't have a vehicle. We're gonna leave the uh, Vancouver Aquarium. Kind of an interesting sculpture out front. I think it's supposed to be a whale. Uh, kind of interesting, unique, but we're gonna take the path. Uh, what's down this way, hon? We're gonna go check out the uh, horse-drawn trolley. Yeah, see if we can get a ride on one of those. Wow, <laughs> check out the size of these plants. That's amazing. I want one of these in our yard, honey. No. No, it'll take up a lot of green space. So there goes one of the horse-drawn trolleys that we're gonna try to uh, ride. So we're like right across from a downtown area. Uh, looks like there's a marina there. And this is the uh, horse-drawn trolley stop or where we can get and get on. And we got the uh, traction, we went the information uh, attraction ticket thing. And we got uh, the t trolley season run, what, every half hour or so? No, oh, no, not not quite. More than, it, it's like 35, 40 minutes. Okay. Get up. There we go. Once again, my name's Connor, folks. Welcome aboard Stanley Park Horse Tron Tours. I will be your guide and driver as we head around the eastern side of Stanley Park this beautiful afternoon. Beautiful Sunday, sunny Sunday afternoon in Vancouver. Before I, tell you, before I tell you about the park, I'll just introduce you to my two co-workers up front here. On the left we have Bud, and on Bud's right is Banjo. I'm driving Bud and Banjo today. We're just leaving another team behind here. Captain George Vancouver sailed here on back in the 1700s. Of course, this is Dead Man's Island. Uh, it's kind of complicated how it came up with the name, but it's now a uh, Canadian naval base. There's an outdoor comedy fest this weekend, so that's what the stage area is. This is where we're going to be sailing out of tomorrow. This is where a lot of cruise ships come. They're at Canada Place, which is uh, the building with the white roof over there that looks like tents. In the foreground there is like a floating gas station. 
Okay, so they got a couple of uh, totem poles here with the uh, different styles that they have on display, and they actually have a uh, placards explaining what the different styles are. There you go, kind of a wider shot of the uh, area. As I said, pretty popular. A lot of people stopping by to check out the totem poles. Keeps the park's considered a temperate rain rainforest because they get a lot of rain around here. Kind of like uh, Capilano Park is a rainforest too. Oh, there's the harbor boat tour paddle wheeler that uh, takes people on tours of Vancouver's harbor. This is the girl in a wetsuit statue. Some people call her the Little Mermaid statue, but if you look closely, she's got a pair of uh, flippers on, diving goggles, and a wetsuit. You can see some of the cargo ships going by. Uh, it's known park. as Lumberman's Arch Park. Up behind the trees on the left here is one of the many concession stands that's throughout Stanley Park. I like this one. They serve hamburgers, hot dogs, fish and chips, I believe. These uh, red trees uh, with the red leaves here, these are Japanese red maples. And they actually stay that color year round. Right Up on the hill is Lord Stanley statue. Uh, Stanley is the name for Stanley Park and is also uh, Stanley Cup, the uh, NHL championship trophy is named after him. Good guy. You were, you were a very good boy. Yes, you were. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right, what's the plan now, hon? Uh, we are waiting for an Uber to take us back to our hotel. And then we're going to try and figure out uh, some dinner and go from there. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it is Sunday. It is Sunday. And a lot of things close early yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, because it's, it's about 4.30 now. And so we were like, oh, what should we do next? So we're like looking. It's like, closes at 5. Closes at 5. Closes at 5. So, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, that's fine. We're going to yeah. have some long, busy days on the cruise. So yep. we can have a nice, relaxing we can have a before. relaxing it. Maybe we hit up the pool again tonight. Possibly. Yes. Ooh, I like that idea though. <laughs> oh, the weather feels so nice now. It's cooler. We're going to step out, go for a little walk, try to find something to eat. Oh my God, honey. Look, they have a McDonald's. They do have a McDonald's, but we're actually going to go to Tim Hortons. Okay. Yeah. We'll go to A. Oh, I never had uh, Tim Hortons before. Uh, we did not get any donuts this round. Just some food. I didn't know what to expect. Okay, from Tim Hortons, I got a um, like a buffalo chicken wrap, yep. and it uh, came with a side of fries. And then uh, Carrie, what'd you get? I got the turkey club. Turkey club. Yep, and uh, also a side of fries. And uh, again, uh, didn't get any. You're kind of low on donuts at uh, you know seven o'clock in the evening or whatever it is now. Um, but yeah, no, we're taking it easy because. Uh, we're going to be getting a lot of gourmet food on the cruise and uh, we're just laying low and watching the Emmys tonight. We're actually going to head back to uh, uh, Tim Hortons and why is that, hon? So I noticed when we were in there that they utilize Too Good To Go, which is an app that we use at home um, it's to avoid food waste. And so I was just curious and went and looked and sure enough there was a Too Good Too Good To Go offer um, so we get a a goodie bag of uh, baked goods and we'll see what we get. Okay, there we go. Got our box. All right, so there's the app. Yeah, like I didn't even think to to look at it and it's like, dang, like there are a bunch of places within walking distance. We could have gotten a really cheap meal, yeah. but we've got dessert now. So the way all this works is that uh, at the end of the day, they have leftover stuff that instead of throwing it away, they sell it for dirt cheap on the app. And let's see what we got here. So this was how much? This was four ninety nine Canadian. Four ninety nine Canadian. Oh, we got a couple Ooh. of donuts in here. So we got dessert taken care of for tonight. Yeah. A couple donut holes and uh, uh, a muffin. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a breadstick. Yeah. I saw Some it. Some Timbits. Saw it in the case over there. It looks good. Yeah. And we had our nice meal and uh, desserts from. Um, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons, <laughs> that, that place that's not back home that <laughs> everyone talks about across the border, eh? <laughs> anyway, um, some uh, nice little treats there. That was uh, that was good, and that's a great deal with that. What's the app called again? Too good to go. Yeah. Uh, so we had our uh, dinner and dessert. Then we went to go check out the pool and the hot tub again. Uh, very nice, relaxing evening. Watch the Emmys. That was on tonight. That's going to date us here a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, have a good day, hon. Yes, had a fantastic day. You? Yeah, yeah. You know, Vancouver is beautiful. Some cool things here to check out. Uh, so this is the last of our full day. 
uh, here in Vancouver. We had a very nice time. I think it's a nice city and yeah, everything. Yeah, it's a very nice said. city. Um, hope to come back again someday. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. We're not going to get the really chance to do anything because we're going to catch a flight after our cruise. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm getting off topic here. But uh, please do us a favor and subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers, so help us flip that number. Also help the channel grow. Help us reach our next goal of 2,000 subscribers. But stay tuned. What's the plan for tomorrow? Tomorrow we get on the Disney Wonder and we're mm -hmm. heading to Alaska. Yeah, look for that so uh check out that vlog when it's ready uh but for now we want to thank you for joining us i'm bill i'm carrie you watch kb tracks please do us a favor like share and subscribe we'll see you soon until then good luck and have fun see ya